The special Valentine's Tandem House Spotlight event is live now in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. It gives up a bunch of really great item drops, so it's a good one for you to take part in. We did cover all of the updates when this event went live, but in today's video, we're going to cover the best build to go into these raids, beat them super quickly to farm these items most effectively. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. Now the Valentine's Day Spotlight event is a very short one, we've only got a couple of days to take advantage of it, but remember if you have downloaded it onto your copy of Scarlet and Violet, then it will stay in your game until the next time you go online. So you can keep this event running until you next go online to farm these items and get the most out of it. To do this most effectively, what we're going to do today is build a specific Pokemon. So what we're wanting to do first of all is come over to our map and we're going to want to head all the way over to the east and we're going to want to head over to this Pokemon Center right here in the North Province area too. So once you are here, you are just going to want to head down to this area to the bamboo field and we are going to be looking for Teddy Ursa and Ursa Ring. Now this area is going to be littered with them. You should come across them pretty easily in this area. You're going to get things like Scyther, Bishop, uh, Cricketot, Cricketune, but also there is going to be Ursa Ring and Teddy Ursa and like you see this is going to be one of the best areas to come. Now you can catch the Ursa Ring or the Teddy Ursa whichever one you want. Uh, we're just going to go for the Teddy Ursa on this one just to make it easier and of course you can shiny hunt as well. I do have a shiny hunting guide on the channel so you can get this Pokemon really easily in your games. They're going to be around level 51 to 53 so they're not going to be the lowest levels but pretty easy to catch regardless and there we go there's a teddy ursa so the first place we're going to head to is mesa goes west and we're going to make sure that we pick up some bottle caps if you've already got bottle caps in your bag then you can just skip over this step but for those of you that don't have bottle caps yet you're going to want to head to mesa goes west and head to the deli bird presents store which is just down here and in this store right here is the place where you can buy yourself some bottle caps you're going to want to come to general goods and then you will see at the top of the list you have your bottle caps now we've got 40 so we're not going to buy any but pick up five of those you don't need six unless you really want to perfect all of its ivs um, and once you pick them up the next place we're going to be heading is to montenevera so now we're in Montenevera, you want to just come behind the Pokemon Center here. We want to head over to the Hyper Trainer Man, and he'll be standing next to a bomber snow like this. And you want to say, yes, you want to Hyper Train. Nice thing about catching Teddy Ursa where we did is it is going to be above level 50, which you need to be minimum to Hyper Train your Pokemon. So you want to use your Bottle Caps here, and you want to max out everything from HP, Attack, Defense, Ignore, Special, Attack, and we already had 31 Speed IV, so that was pretty good and then just train up those stats to max them out and uh, make them as strong as possible. Now, next thing after that is you want to head up to this Chansey Supply Stores up here. You're going to need a little bit of money to do this next step, um, but there are ways to EV train outside of just buying vitamins or vitamins, however we're saying it, and I will link a video up in the top right hand corner here for you if you want to train your Pokemon EVs for free. So. First thing we're going to buy is 25 HP ups or 26 if you haven't got any feathers and then we want 25 proteins and again if you haven't got any feathers just buy 26 it's as easy as that and then we also want an adamant mint as well so you want to head down and just buy an adamant mint. So once you've got all these items you want to just feed them to your Teddy Ursa. So first off we want those 25 HP ups and then we want 25 proteins. And then, like I say, you want to just give the, the health feathers just to max out the HP stat. You only need two of those. And then the same with the muscle feathers. If you haven't got them, like I say, just get an extra protein and an extra HP up. And then put the rest in defense or whatever you like. It doesn't really matter for this, but we've got six left. So we'll just dump them in defense. And then the next thing to do is level your Teddy Ursa up. We'll need XL candies and things like that. But again, if you want to level up for free, just in game, the normal way, the old fashioned way, then I will link a video up here for you and you can follow that guide and it shouldn't take you too long anyway, but you wanna get it to level 100. All raid Pokemon generally, you wanna get them to level 100 just to maximize their stats, make them as strong as possible against the raid Pokemon that you're going in against. And as you can see, we're gonna get ourselves a nice Ursa Ring. The textures on these Pokemon, I'm still surprised. They look so nice in this game, they really do. This game gets a lot of bad press, but for the most part, it is very nice. So. 
Your Ursa Ring is going to look like this once you've got it to level 100. Its stats will look like this and it has got the Guts ability. Um, which is exactly what we want. Now we're going to have to change the moveset. Now the moveset that we're going to be using is primarily all going to be mostly egg moves. So we're going to need to forget a bunch of options here. So we're going to just get rid of all of these moves to start with. All except one because you can't have no moves. So we'll just get rid of Snow as well. And we will need to teach it a move as well. And the move that we're going to be teaching it is Facade. And this is one of the options that we need. So that's the only move that we're going to need. We forget the other moves. And that is the first step in this. Then you're going to have to look for Pokemon in your boxes that have Belly Drum, Close Combat and Crunch. So we know that Hariyama has Belly Drum. We can teach it close combat as well, so that's going to be an option there. And we just need something with crunch as well. So to easily search out Pokemon, just come down to your search function in your box, non move, and then you can just select the move that you want to look for, that you're going to want to teach it, because it doesn't matter about being compatible in this game. And then you use the search function and you see here we've got our Tyranitar here that does no crunch and we can throw it in our box. Now, the next thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is we are gonna to want to give a Mirror Herb item to the Ursa Ring. And the Mirror Herb item, and there we go. So the Mirror Herb item, and then what we need to do, because we're in a really awkward place at the minute to set up a picnic, just fly to anywhere on your map. And when you're here, you wanna just see that you've got your Ursa Ring, you've got your Mirror Herb attached to it, and then we wanna just check the Pokemon that we've got in our party as well as having the moves that we wanna learn. Obviously, Belly Drum there and the Close Combat on the Hariyama, and then we do have Crunch on the Tyranitar. So they're the moves that we're wanting to do. And all we need to do now is just head to an area where you can set our picnic up. We've removed the moves on our Ursa Ring, and then we just wanna just set the picnic up. And it literally takes two seconds to transfer moves as long as your Pokemon that everything's going on to has that Mirror Herb item. It should happen instantaneously, and we just take our picnic down, and then we can check our Ursa Ring, and it should have the move set that we're looking for now. So if we come onto it, and you can see, yep, there we go. So we've got the Belly Drum, which is going to be our main attacking option close combat and then crunch for coverage because the thing is if you just go facade and close combat you're going to be weak against ghost types because you've got no way to hit them crunch just gives you a way to have some sort of good coverage against those ghost type attacks if you come up against any especially in terror rate so of course if you have spare pp ups it is a good option to just max out your moves not that you would generally need it or it's necessary but i always kind of like to do that with the options that have just five pp like close combat so we'll just max out that as a starting option and then after that attach a flame orb item and then the ursa ring should look like this once you're finished with it it is a very quick and easy pokemon to train up like i say we've covered the area where you get it covered how you ev it up and then iv train it hyper train it and then give it the move sets that it needs so held item is going to be the flame orb terra typing is going to be normal that is super fine level 100 then the ev spread 252 hp 252 attack we've got the guts ability which is super important to have with that flame orb which doubles its attack once it activates once it gets burned and then we are going to have the move set of belly drum crunch close combat and facade and that is the Ursa Ring all set with an adamant nature. Now, the next thing to do, once you have updated your dens with the Terror Raid Spotlight event, and this doesn't need to just be something like the Tandem Mouse event, but it is a good one for the Tandem Mouse event. Just come down to your Poker Portal. Uh, we did cover this in the update, but I'll just put it in here just in case you didn't see that. Come down to your Mystery Gifts down here and then just click in on poker portal news that'll connect you to the internet you'll get a message saying that everything's been updated in your game with the date and time that you've done it and that will mean that your dens are all up to date so once you come into your map then you'll be able to see the spotlight terror raids that will be populating the map area and they do look like this with a kind of glowing aura around them so what you want to do is just head over to one of them the five star tandem mouse raids are going to be the best for item drops now you're probably better off looking for fairy type ones because the fairy type ones are kind of the signature one for this specific event and they're going to be easy easier to identify as the five star raid events whereas the other ones can be anything from three to five if you finished your playthrough but hopefully this one is a five star 
den and if we click in on it it is a four star den so like i say you want to be looking for the five star raid dens and for whatever reason if you haven't got any fairy type terror raid dens in your in your spotlight dens that you're looking for what you can do to change this is just hit your home menu come down to your system settings and then down into system down into date and time and then just click through this options click ok hit your home menu come back into the game and all your dens will refresh giving you new spotlight terrors and there you go you can see we've got a fairy type one right there so we can just head to this hopefully this one is the five star den that we're looking for there it is so let's check if this one is a five star spotlight event hopefully it is and it is okay brilliant so we've got our ursa ring here we just want to jump in and go against it now this is a pokemon that you're going to be able to take online remember in the last video i didn't really confirm I said you needed a Nintendo Switch Online subscription to take part in these raid events. You don't need it if you're just playing in your game. You can download this into your game. But if you are going online to play these raids, you will need an online subscription to do that. So there is a little bit of clarity there for everyone. But this can be a Pokemon that you take online and in solo as well for yourself. So these raids aren't difficult at all. But like I said, the basic strategy is going to be very very quick for you to do is just a belly drum turn one see play rough come out here and uh, we should take that pretty comfortably and you can see it's not really going to do too much because the tandem mouse is is pretty weak it's the pre-evolution isn't it so there is our belly drum and then the flame orb will activate there we go and then you want to just hit that facade button and this should be enough at this point to knock the tandem mouse out and there we go that is how quick it's going to be to run through these raid events literally two turns most of the time this is why i wanted to do the video because it just makes getting these item drops really really easy we're not going to catch it and we are going to be able to see the item drops that you get and the item drops are pretty good you're going to get large candy xl candy you're going to get terror shards as well as all of those sandwich ingredients meaning if you do run through these events um, over and over and over again, you're probably not going to need to buy sandwich ingredients for a very long time, depending on how many sandwiches you make in your game. So that is how good Ursa Ring is. And it's not just a Pokemon that you can take into this spotlight raid event. This is going to be something that you can use in other raid events as well if you're soloing Pokemon. But Ursa Ring, a great Pokemon. Just remember the build. It will be linked down in the description as well with a more detailed overview of the EVs, IVs, the nature and everything like that. So Ursa Ring, a really good Pokemon and something that is going to make doing these tandem mouse events very very easy so that is everything that we're covering in today's video i hope you find it useful have fun with this valentine's spotlight terror raid event that's running if you have found it useful please drop a like on the video do subscribe to the channel for more of these terror raid videos that we do and updates because we will probably be likely getting a update on the next seven star raid event that will be dropping around pokemon day which is going to be very exciting so we'll be covering all of the details on that as soon as that does drop Thank you again for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day. Enjoy Valentine's Day. And I will see you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.